Hey, Internet, what's up? Hey, we're coming at you from the shop tonight, which is something that we haven't done in a little while. And we are talking about what? A robot from our movie. Yeah. So let's take a quick look at what we've got going on here. For the Star Wars movie that we're working on, we have a droid uh, who is, here's his body as a work in progress. Here's his head as a work in progress. And it's we are made out of paper. It's made out of well, it's made out of um, like Very a plastic thick. card. It's called styrene. We're working on this puppet, which is going to be the bad guy in the movie. And we are also uh, starting to work on a couple of ships. There are going to be two ships. We have one that's going to be kind of a star destroyer type ship. And what's the other one? So basically, what it is is that we're going to be using this part as the front. Oh, I put it backwards. It's going to be a control room, and there's um, a transmitter. Yeah. It could be a long tra tra long space transmitter. Like a long-range transmitter, like, uh, like we saw in Rebels the other day. Exactly. Okay, cool. So there's kind of some cool things that we're going to be putting in right here. There's the middle. Do you want to know the word for that? They're referred to as greebles or greeblies. And all that means is that it's little bits of stuff that you add to something to make it look busy and interesting. So we've got this for the main body of it. That's kind of where the, obviously, where the inspiration from the, for the shape came from. And then we are missing a piece. We've lost a piece that we found that would work really well for this engine pod here. Um, I'm sure it will turn up. But then we have a few other pieces here um, that I think would work well for these engine pieces. Well, you were thinking about these little guys. Yeah, these little these little we, marker we, caps. We could like glue here and put it right there. Exactly, yeah. Like there's a flat area right here and we're going to be like putting gluing this here. Exactly. And then we'll have another piece here and then one of these I'm not let's see. It's got big ridges and kind of smaller ridges inside as well. Trevor? Yeah. You know that some engines actually have something to protect it. Sure. You cut all around here. Yeah. Take it out. Put it here, and Ooh. that is like a little engine cap. That's well. If we turn it, if we turn it around like this too. That looks pretty cool. That does look pretty cool. Well, that'll give it. Yeah, you know what? I like that shape because you know what? It looks. It looks kind of like the bell of uh, of a rocket engine. Yeah, and this this inside is kind of funky too. All right, so we'll use this. That's going in the keep box, and then these can go back in the bits box. And then this is obviously in the keep box because this is the, the, front, the main body of the ship. And also um, the inspiration. All of the other little bits we will add on using styrene. So it's I know what is is a basically paper. So we have a couple of different thicknesses. We'll use this thickness, I think, for the uh, for the cowling around well, here. Well, exactly. If you look at them. No, feel the difference. Feel how yeah. bendy this one is, and feel how rigid this yeah, one is. Yeah, like it looks like exactly the same, but it's not. You know, some things that inspire me to do other things. What inspires you to do other things? Things that I already did. Okay, so Why? are you thinking of another yes. project? Let's clear this and we'll show what Kidlet A is talking about here. <laughs> Boom. This uh, this is From a little thing we made when uh, when Phile, uh, the little robot, got lost on uh, on a comet. So we, we decided to build the surface of the comet with the Phile lander on it. Down, down. So what's what's inspiring you about this? Well, I was thinking of a lot of texture, something a little darker, and something big, really. Okay, so so you're talking a little bit more about like how the thing is gonna feel at the end after it's been built. Another one that really inspires me. Yeah. Is this little guy. The Camaro. Yeah. Okay. So this is another piece. Uh, There's a couple of videos on the channel. Um, in fact, I will link to them here of me working on the uh, Camaro. So this is this is a post-apocalyptic kind of Mad Max style car. Um, I don't, yeah, I can't believe you actually kind of cracked the, the thing. Yeah, I did that on purpose and I even put some paint in the crack. 
to make it look like yeah. you're traveling through the desert. Exactly. Deader, the desert. The desert, yeah. Um, so some of the weathering and painting that we did on here, I think, will be good for both the robot and the ship. So on the drawing, we've got a number of little pipes and bars and things in here. Maybe a mix. I have this copper wire, and I also have this wire. So where do you think, should we use both wires or should we only use one? Well, the one that should be a little more like flexible, Yeah. we should use this, but this should like for bars and this. Okay. I think we should use this because it's a lot thicker. The and heavier I can, wire, okay. Yeah, and I can barely move it. Well, we'll use pliers for that. And then the, the more flexible one maybe yeah. for the little details that go along in mm -hmm. here. What are you working on, Kid Lippy? You're just happily doing a little project next to the video. Let's have a quick rummage through the bits box and see if. The big bits box, the big bits box, the big bits box. See if there's anything else that might work. What about this? Hey, you want to come take a look? Yeah, come What do you think of that? Too skinny. All right, so after some looking, we found the piece that we were after. It's, it is the piece that we based the drawing on. <laughs> so naturally it looks pretty good. So let's see that with the new engine bell. With the next, yeah, that looks right. That's it. Okay. Pepper? Yes. If anybody hasn't seen the Dremel video, Look in the comments sure we will link it uh we'll link the dremel video in the description down below <laughs> okay <laughs> my producer oh you know what we don't have what? we can do one more thing one more thing to let's go back into the bits box we need something for uh -huh. our transmitter so what are we ah ha, ha. pre egg to the rescue okay here look at this Danny. If we cut this old cream egg thing down to here, that would give us, I think that would give us our transmitter. Yeah. Look, the curve is, what do you think, B? Evil. I, th I think she's busy working on something over there. <laughs> I think that, I think that would work. So let's dump this out and take stock. Okay, we have... Okay. The body. The body? The only thing that we don't have. We have the transmitter. Okay, why don't we put it up Yeah, together? let's let's kind of, let's do a, a rough test assembly of this. Okay. So there's the engine bell. There's the two smaller engines. Hey. And then we have... The wire and the other wire. How's your, how's your project coming? And then we have uh, styrene in different thicknesses for the cowling in here. And then all of these additional little pieces on this, we can... We cut out. Yeah, we can cut out of the, the thinner styrene. Because how do you think you could have done this? Well, yeah, it, it, the, the exact same way we have all this detail on here. So I think I think we're good. I think we have all of the main pieces here. Like the, the proportions look mm. about right based on the sketch. <gasps> That's us for tonight. We're going to keep on working on videos as we work on our movie. We will do some behind the scenes stuff. We'll do some build videos. We will do some more brainstorming videos like this. Um, we will you. see what B is doing with her project over here. Did you want to, did you want to show the camera what you're working on? So if you like this and you want to see more, like, share, and subscribe, but that is it for us. Uh, Kidlet B, you want to say bye? This is my thing that I did. Oh, my I was working on my glasses. That's what I was working on. That did better. they look good? Safe. Say, say, say in the comments <laughs> below if they look good, okay? 